Okay, now here's another video of exactly what I kind of did here. The little wires are a scramble here, so forgive me for that. But anyway, still got it all plugged in here from the video I just did. But the TBS unit is actually, pull her out here while she's plugged in, is actually screwed down to the board. As Dave recommends, and I put Velcro on the bottom of this board, which will help get cooling underneath here. And there's a secondary piece of plywood I've got in there, and I did with my other planes as well. And I can simply just stick her down. Now then, as you'll notice right here, this is a power tap coming off of the actual ESC wires right there. So I'm tapping right off this 4S battery for this one. Uh, and just put it on a simple JST G T connectors. That way I did it with the other airplanes as well and some of the individual batteries that have just a JST connector if I want to run it on its own separate power source uh, I can plug it in that way. On um, the connector speakers here I've ran two sets of positive negative VEC speakers to the terminal block see if we can zoom in right here to the terminal block right here and I have two coming off of them because in this particular plane I've got two three inch speakers that are eight ohms each so I'm running them in parallel to each other and I can simply just unplug them here that disconnects my speakers disconnect my power unplug my servo cables uh, I have three on there I'm currently not using that particular one right there but uh, the, the ESC is plugged in here to throttle one then I've got throttle one over to the uh, throttle on the receiver and then the aux sounds that you just heard a minute ago were plugged in right here which is on my switch I think I got six of them set but I could actually do the offset which I've already played around with like David said and put them on aux 2 and even throttle 2 if you're not using a two throttle setup you can actually set switch to RC I believe it was and proportional using the throttle 2 setup to activate additional sounds and set up an offset there and that's actually what I was doing with the retract sounds I have two retracts up retracts down wheel sounds with the doors closing and did it with that one uh, and plugged it into the retract channel which I have wide off here just using a wide cable and it worked real well now I can just simply unplug this module take it over to the P51 plug it all back in because I have put uh, matching connectors there on it even though I'm running two in series I only plug into one leave the other one loose plug in the same cables to their corresponding channels stick it down on the velcro change out the SD card power it up and I'm ready to go and then move this module over real easy to the next plane and then the next plane that I, that I set up that I want to use this module in I can do the same thing just making sure that when I wire up my speakers I put uh, in this particular case I have males on the speakers and females on the uh, SFX module, the shockwave module here and unplug them, plug them back in. I don't have to really tamper with the uh, terminal block all that much since I'm not going to be powering any more than probably two to four speakers and they'll be in a series or a series parallel configuration almost every single time. And then just like I do with my BECs, I'm running a simple tap off of the uh, battery cable here are actually the ESC cable which, which is ESC sitting underneath here and ran a set of uh, 20 gauge silicone wires off of here with a tap so that I can plug in and get tap off the motor. You could actually make an adapter and plug into your uh, balance connector if you want to do that if, it's your, if that's your choice the way you want to do it. There's several different options there but I wanted to show you kind of the insides and how easy it is to set it up to, to be able to quickly remove it and move it from one airplane to the next if you're taking multiple planes to the field and uh, go fly and have nice sound as long as you've got speakers already installed in them which there's the uh, actually there's the co-pilot side three inch speaker right here with my grills on it uh, I've also had several people ask me where I got my grills this is actually a little uh, product from McMaster car these are lightweight aluminum uh, poke drill plates and then of course when I airbrush over them that kind of helps uh, blend them in and the speakers are behind them I actually got that tip from God of Thunder 77 on RC groups we talked quite a bit and he found those first and uh, I just they work great there's they're solid so you don't have to worry about 
poking your finger through them when you get them, and they allow good exit on the sound and so forth. It's a little expensive, and it comes, that's the smallest sheet, if you see right there, behind that Corsair, when you order it, and it's about 76 bucks. 46 to buy it, and I think it was like 30 to ship it, but it comes in a sheet that big, so one sheet will build you probably like about 30 or 40 different screens for 3 inch and 4 inch speakers for an airplane. But that's what I've been using for my screen covers on um, my planes, and it's from McMaster Car. I've posted links on the RC groups to its specific stock number, and I believe uh, God of Thunder, or Brian, uh, has done the same. But anyway... We've had several questions, and I've had a few PMs asking me that. And uh, anyway, that's what it is. Just a solid sheet of aluminum. It's very light, easy to cut with a Dremel tool. And I'm not sure if this camera is going to give it a good shot, but there it is. You can already see the cutouts I've used to make the last couple speakers for that bad boy. And that bad boy, as well as that bad boy right there, which are covered up. So, I'm not using the regular screen material like I have used before, which I'm used for cheater vents on here, because if you grab it real quick with your thumb, you can still poke your finger through it. Anyway, there's the setup, guys. Thanks for watching. And again, the A1 Sky Raider Star Max 1600mm SPAD. Wired for sound. Thanks for watching.